I had a crash on the condo, which I survived uh, with Johnny Menefee. Threw out all the dynamite. 90 boxes in 15 minutes. Well, tell us about I bet you couldn't do that. Probably not. Tell us about that story. Well, you're a lot bigger than me. So how did that come about? We lost an engine on this Condor, and it wouldn't fly with, with uh, one engine turning. It couldn't feather. It was only a two-position prop, takeoff landing. And uh, we lost the right engine, and we had 90 boxes of, of dynamite, DuPont. And I threw out 90 boxes of dynamite in about 15 minutes which is impossible, but I did it. Because I, I was throwing them out two and three at a time, lying on the floor, because I couldn't stand up anymore. The other reason for it was that, that they had a slide door on this airplane, this old Condor, and I'd, I'd get back there, I'd throw two or three boxes in the back, there were 90 boxes, and. Uh, 4,500 pounds of dynamite, and I threw them out, threw them out, threw them out. The door kept sliding up and down. I had to lift it, hang on to something, so I ended up lying on the floor and kicking at that. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to get close to that door because right. there's a danger of falling out. That's right. And, uh, but anyway, uh, it was not all that bad. I threw them all out about 15 minutes, two at a time. I'd throw two back and get down, lie down on the floor and kick him out the door. So how did you, who decided that that had to be, that action had to be taken? Well, we were losing, <laughs> we lost one engine, we were going to go, we were gonna, it's a wonder, it's a miracle that I survived, because we were going to, we were going to end up in the jungle, straight down, you know. Hmm. You hit the top of the trees at 120, 30 feet, and down you go. So you just had to dump your whole... Payload. Jumped the whole payload, and I did it in a short time, 15 minutes. Mm. I right. wonder if anyone ever found that dynamite out there in the jungle. Yeah, they followed it. As lo they, f they got a lot of it back, because it was in a straight line. They just, they just found it, and of course, people stole it. Other people recovered it and sold it back to the mines, mm. you know, for say 50 cordobas a box or something. But when the boxes hit, they split. And you had, had dynamite scattered over about 20 or 30 miles, wow. 20 miles. And what did the, uh, the airline and the owners of the company say about all that? Well, they couldn't say anything. We'd, what we did was, uh, the two of us didn't get killed, and we crashed the airplane, John Menefee was the captain, and uh, I just got back in my seat, and we hit the ground. And I remember that I got burned by gravel coming up through the floor wow. because the gear was up. But you actually made it to the runway, didn't you? We made it to the runway. He hit right where he should have hit, but uh, we went over on the nose, and that's how I got. I got. No, it wasn't bad. A couple of. In fact, I was I raised up off from my seat because the rocks were coming in. We were going along like this, mm. you know, nose down, with the gear up, yeah. and uh, really acute angle, mm. you know. And in fact, the airplane stayed like that, about that angle. And John and I were so stupid, we could have stepped out of the window. The ground was no, f not much further than this is. I could and had big windows. I could have just. God, uh, we didn't do that. We scrambled about 15 feet back up the cabin, really? holding on to whatever we could hold on, the window, and jumped jumped about 15 feet to the ground because the airplane was like this. Because you were afraid it was going to blow up or catch fire. Oh, yeah, because the, 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 we had, the left engine had been going full tilt, and it was, gasoline was dropping the, tanks were in the top wing. Mm -hmm. This is a twin engine, big twin engine uh, fabric airplane. And when it was tilted like that, the tanks were in the top wing and they 
they uh, drained through the front like that, and it was making hissing noises as it dropped on the left engine. Really? And that's what we <coughs> that's what we were afraid of because if that had, engine had caught a fabric airplane, in in a minute it would be gone. Mm. You know, just <coughs> so John and I really we. Instead of stepping out the window like sensible people, no, we had to grab hold of windows and went up and jumped 15 feet to the ground. And John was so shook up, he wanted to, he wanted to put the thing on fire because he hated the airplane. And he said, I'm going to burn this, and I had to take the matches away from him because he, he couldn't scratch, you know, do this. He was, he was shaking so bad. I took him away from him and I said, hell no, there are people right there coming. So we ran away, 50 feet away, hoping it would burn, and he, uh, he was going to burn it. I mean, he would have he been in jail for it. Mm. <clears throat> Just oh, no, we, it was not too bad because we only, we only uh, went on about 100 feet on the nose, really. It was on the nose and on the tires, <clears throat> and John used the brakes, which were still touching the ground, but not down. Uh, the gear had started down, and uh, but uh, it just jammed there when we hit the ground, because it was a worm drive, and uh, uh, it just wouldn't wouldn't raise the airplane anymore. Mm. I mean, wouldn't raise once it's on the ground, so it just ended there. And we just got out, like I say, and ran away. And then uh, we got in a, went back to Puerto Cabezas on the first cargo, first airplane that came in there after we did, which was a Ford. And then they, Ed Bryce made us go on first trip out the next morning. Really? On a Ford. Were you nervous? Yeah, we were nervous. We were still shaking. And we didn't, we didn't even drink afterwards. We waited till Saturday night and then we got drunk. Mm.